My name is Jen Kim Mozaleski. I'm an assistant professor in the School of Medicine and in the Department of Population and Quantitative Health Sciences. I am trained as a social psychologist and I study tobacco-related health disparities and its intersection with food access. One of the triumphs of public health has been that cigarette use prevalence has really gone down in recent decades. And yet, what we also know is that it hasn't gone down equitably for all populations. There are social determinants of tobacco use that really drive these tobacco use disparities. But the gap has been that we haven't done a great job in smoking cessation services and treatment to really incorporate the role of social determinants and how it can impact tobacco cessation outcomes. The CTSC Pilot Award was focused on if we address food insecurity among people who are smoking, wanting to quit, and are, are food insecure, will we see better smoking cessation outcomes? I have had the lived experience of financial hardship growing up, watching my dad trying to navigate the resources, and really not quite knowing where to turn for help. I have made it my academic mission to help folks who may not know necessarily where to turn for help and to make sure that the resources are tangible to them and with my diverse identity to inform the research that I do, turn the pain that I had into this power of uplifting folks who may not know about the resources and really creating a research program in which we're empowering people to use the resources. My focus right now is on adults who are currently smoking cigarettes or tobacco and are experiencing unmet social needs. And so while that's been the focus in the work that I've done, it has become really clear through talking with folks about their life course histories. There was a lot of adversity. There was a lot of trauma. There were a lot of things that have then brought them to who they are today and the constraints that they feel in their lives today and the choices that they make within the constraints that they have. Perhaps we need to meet these basic needs before we engage in tobacco cessation services, or we need to do them concurrently and to recognize all the different things that are happening in people's lives beyond whether you smoke tobacco or not, whether you're ready to quit or not. In the CTSC pilot study, one participant comes to mind. Through the study, she was able to cut down on her smoking, and yet it was really still difficult for her to stop completely. And she shared that, you know, it was either she makes a choice to eat or she makes a choice to smoke. She was also a cancer survivor. There is such a gap in that area of research. It's really using their input and voices to come up with what are the next set of research questions that we really should be asking.